Hey guys, Badger here from BTEC IT Solutions. Let me quickly show you part 2 of how to break through the Windows XP password. Uh, that's only if part 1 using the Control alt delete delete method didn't work for you, as in my previous video. Right guys, how this works is we're going to reset the password so there's no way of actually recovering what the password was. So first things first, let's quickly, what I'm going to do is just to make sure that this works. I am going to put the password on here for my administrator account so that I can't use some back door to get in there and the same with the test account. Go. And they're both locked down. And there is no way for me to get in. Okay, guys, uh, the other thing with this method, besides the fact that it resets the password completely, please um, check the system memory on your XP machine. It has to have at least 512 megs of RAM in because we will be creating a RAM disk from the ISO file that you'll be loading up later. As you can see, there's no way for me to get in here. Alright, uh, I'll quickly reboot to safe mode just to show you that the admin account is locked as well. Alright, so we select safe mode quick, Windows XP, let it load up safe mode for us. Just to prove to you guys that the admin account is locked as well. There you go, and there's our test account. Okay, so there's no no way that I can get through any of this. Now, how, how we're going to do this is we're going to go to a separate machine. All the links will be in the description. You're going to download a bit of uh, software, uh, ISO file, which you can then burn to a CD or a DVD, or otherwise you can always just use a normal USB flash drive and just boot from that. All right, I'll see you guys on that side. Okay guys, now on your separate machine, if you check the links in the description, you'll find that I've left you a Google Drive and a OneDrive link. You can use any one of the two as uh, both mirrored. Uh, I'm going to quickly use the Google Drive one. Put that in your favorite browser. And then open that. Okay, you'll see it's going to give you a redirect notice over here. Just wait the five seconds, click continue. And then you can just hit on download button and then download anyway. Okay, as you see, this is 315 meg file. It's going to take a couple of minutes to download depending on your internet connection. Right, while well, that's busy downloading, uh, you'll see there's another link over there for Rufus. We're going to need that if you want to create a bootable USB drive. So let's just go and download that as well. Same thing as with the uh, OneDrive and Google Drive links. Uh, just wait the five seconds, you'll get your direct notice and then click continue. And then that will take you to the main Rufus site. Once on here, just scroll down a bit and click on Rufus 3.1.0. Now you can also use a CD or DVD to do this. Just burn the ISO file that we previously downloaded. Okay guys, now that the ISO and Rufus have both been downloaded, we can just open up uh, the Rufus application to create the bootable flash drive. Okay, I'm not going to check for updates. If it asks you if you want to run the software, just say yes. As you can see, it's already picked up my flash drive. Uh, all that we have to do here is we just drag and drop the ISO file onto the Rufus application. Leave all settings as is, say start. And yes, I acknowledge that I am going to wipe my flash drive. As you can see, it's deleting partitions and it's busy loading on the ISO for later use on the XP machine if it supports USB booting. If it doesn't, please remember you can just burn the ISO file to a CD or a DVD. Thankfully, the software isn't very big. As you saw previously, it's about 315 meg size. So if you've got a decent USB 3 flash drive, this should only take you about a minute or so. 
Alright, that's finished. Now we can just say close. You can eject your flash drive and then take it to the XP machine that you're trying to break in. Okay guys, now that you've booted up your USB drive or your CD slash DVD in the old XP machine, just uh, select boot from live boot, otherwise it's just going to take you back to your password protected version. Press enter, it'll start loading the files. Thankfully, it's a fairly quick process to load this up. It just creates a small little RAM disk. Right, once it's booted, it's just going to try and install some quick drivers for network cards and so on. If you don't have one attached, it's not the end of the world. It's not like it needs it in any case. You see, I don't have one connected and it's just saying the program will exit. Don't need anything else, just click on password and key finder, admin password resetter, select our operating system, and the target user, which in this case is test, we say reset, yes, yes we want to reset the password, there you go, it's done, same with the administrator, close this, and then what we can do from here is you take out your uh, USB drive or your CD otherwise it's just gonna boot up again if it does do it you just select your boot to hard drive and then if all went well Windows XP should now automatically log in as there's no password let's restart all right guys there you go and as you can see it's automatically logged in onto our test user all is good and well in the world again Right guys, as I've said before, everything is linked down in the description. Please remember to like or dislike and subscribe if you want to. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.